Hey everyone and welcome to the special iPhone 4S edition of the show. My name is Mike McDonald. And every day on the show, you and I talk about the news or you send something in, whatever's on your mind. First things first, I received an email yesterday regarding Monday's show and my coverage on the Wall Street protesters. And I just want to clear something up. I in no way intended to offend anyone by appearing insensitive about the state of the American economy or all of the jobless, hardworking Americans. What I meant to get across is that the tactic used by the protesters, dressing up as zombies and marching down Wall Street, in my opinion, will not achieve policy change, and I think it appears immature. I'm 1000% for marching down Wall Street, rallying to lessen the gap between the rich and the poor, but when people dress up as zombies to protest not only Wall Street greed, but also everything under the sun like global climate change or police brutality, their efforts appear a little bit less focused and start to look a little bit more like an angry mob who's just mad about everything. I would suggest targeting one issue, like the economy, and taking off the makeup. Maybe then the president will want to sit down with you and discuss policy change. If you agree or disagree, I'm always up for hearing what you think. So send me an email, link is in the description. So let's get started in a special iPhone edition of the show. An announcement that disappointed many yesterday, Apple announced their next iPhone, the iPhone 4S. While many people were expecting the iPhone 5, which was rumored to include a major overhaul with a design change and a whole set of new features, the iPhone 4S is, in reality, an upgrade with a few new features. Upgrades to the iPhone include, number one, a step up from the A4 single core processor, making the iPhone 4S seven times faster than the original iPhone 4 and in particular, much smoother for running Angry Birds. <laughs> The iPhone 4S will come fully loaded with iOS 5, Apple's newest and already announced operating system, which includes a revamped notification and reminder system, Twitter integration, iMessage, which is like the BBM for iPhones, Cloud, which is like wireless syncing all your files and activities across all of your Apple devices, and more. Number three, iPhone's camera was upgraded from a 5 megapixel camera to an 8. It's also now capable of shooting 1080p video, image stabilization, which gives you a less shaky image, and improved light sensitivity. iPhone 4 4S will be available in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models. Not only will the iPhone 4S receive improved overall reception, but it also supports Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T signals, meaning one device will work for all customers on all three networks. The iPhone's battery life is increased, handling eight hours of talk time over the original seven. And lastly, if this isn't my favorite part of the announcement, is Surrey, Apple's voice recognition program and kind of like a personal assistant. Find me an Italian restaurant in North Beach. Okay, these 25 Italian restaurants are in North Beach. Where is the strip club closest to me? Here's the traffic. Text my wife, I'm gonna be 30 minutes late. Now, since I have a BlackBerry, I'm not exactly sure that if I had the iPhone 4 that I would be disappointed with the 4S announcement and not the 5. It seems to me that the iPhone 4S brings with it a solution or at least an improvement to all the issues that people commonly have with their iPhone in general, including battery life or reception, an overall faster processor, and a much better camera. And I think even the slightest change in the iPhone 4's appearance, enough to name it the 5 and not the 4S, would have satisfied most of the people who were disappointed because I get the feeling that most people would rather hear the big 5 announcement and see a slightly new design with a whole bunch of new features rather than a complete upgrade or fix to all the current features on the phone, making the phone actually work properly before Apple goes to create something new. Just my two cents, I'm really excited for the 4S and I think it's finally time to ditch the berry. But I want to know, how do you feel about the iPhone 4S? Are you disappointed or excited? Leave a comment and let me know. As always, if you want to help out the show, you can click the like button, leave a comment on the video, hit subscribe. Hope you had fun on the mic with me today and I will see you on Friday.